All right, um, I'm doing a calibration adjustment on the laser disc player. I'm doing um, the master clock. The master clock ultimately determines a bunch of things, but what it determines is um, color rendering, um, how accurate the color is. Um, and um, what's interesting is I found something really wrong in the calibration manual. What it says is you're supposed to set this adjustment um, without the disc playing. Um, so just power on. Um, the problem with doing this is um, twofold. First, um, as soon as you start playing the disc, the power supply in the, on the board does change. So the voltage drops and so the frequency changes. Um, so realistically, it is incorrect to set this um, with the disc not playing. You need to set, turn the disc on and play it. Now the other problem too is that the disc creates a lot of wind and the wind changes the temperature. So the truth is that you also need to adjust this and have the case on and check it quickly and you know have everything warmed up properly and all that stuff. So um, anyway, um, so so overall um, that's reasonably accurate. Um, what the reading is supposed to be is 14.31818 um, plus or minus 10 hertz, which in this case means that it could be 1819 or 1817. However, we've hit it fairly close, and this is after warm up, and this is with the disc playing. Uh, you can see the difference, actually. And it, uh, oh, I might add that this adjustment is unbelievably sensitive. So when you actually hit the variable cap to do this, I mean, I was literally, I was literally just feather touching the screwdriver um, in order to make small measurements or small changes to get it this close. It was really annoying to set, but it's set correctly now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop it. What's interesting is if you watch what happens on the frequency, take a second, I'm doing a real high accuracy, um, a very high accuracy adjustment, so it, it takes longer to respond. It's doing more, more acquisitions to make sure that it's right. So you can see that this raises up um, as soon as you lose, well, as soon as you change, as soon as you stop the disc. So it would be inherently wrong to have it, um, to have it set at 31818 with the disc stopped. Um, as soon as I start the disc, and remember it takes a minute for it to, uh, for the, uh, the counter to update. But as you can see, it then, uh, it then drops um, significantly. Um, so, so anyway, so if you set, if you use the the calibration manual or you use the uh, pro, the alignment procedures um, for this adjustment, you'd be wrong. Um, it'd be incorrect. Um, of course, I'm also using a really high accuracy um, frequency counter to do this too. So a lot of people don't have access to this as much resolution as what I've got. I can actually get one more digit, but this is plenty here. Um, this and um, this uh, Fluke 5315A actually has the uh, TXCO option, so it's also got a you know a tape temperature stabilized oscillator as well. So it's and it's been calibrated, so it's it's right on the money.